Welcome to Musicians Weekly. I'm Jack Hansen. Tonight we have local guitar legend Jeff Cruz with his band, The Blues Benders. <laughs>
thinking about me and you I've been up all night Thinking about me and you Something just ain't right I'm feeling blue I want to talk to you About your running around I want to talk to you Before you put me down I want to talk to you Ain't gonna be a fool no more Stay out at night With some of my friends Spend me my girl While I'm sitting in Come on that dog Stay in his hand Then you go out Do it all again I'm here with the Blues Benders with Greg Brown on keyboard. Good to see you. Eric Gunn on the drums. Right on. Leroy Hornbeck. Okay. Rachel Riley. Yeah. And Jeff Cruz Jeff. over on guitar. Jeff, tell me a little about the origins of the Blues Benders. Um, well, I guess we've been together about two and a half years now. Uh, originally, it started out as the Fault Line Band. I met Rachel and we got together and started learning some songs and she says, I want, I want a band. 
Like, how many songs do you know? She's like, five. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's enough. Not yet. <laughs> so actually, we, we learned a bunch of songs. I said, you know, when we get enough tunes up, I'll, I'll find us a band. And I, I ran into Leroy over here, and we'd played together in a band called The Hired Guns. Actually, Greg was in that band also. And uh, I said, Leroy, you want to you get a project together? And he said, sure. I said, well, we, we need a keyboard. So he goes, I got one. All right. We need a drummer. He says, I got one. <laughs> we need a place to rehearse. He says, I got one. I got so one. we started the band. So I should probably be talking to Leroy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it. Anyway, it started as a fault line band, and uh, that went for a while. And uh, we changed drummers. And at that point, we re realized there was like three other fault line bands in the area. Mm. So we tackled the band name issue at the same time we tackled the drummer issue. And, and uh, that changed the sound of the band quite a bit when we changed drummers. And uh, it became the Blues Benders. And actually, Eric is our third drummer. Mm -hmm. and he just joined the band recently. It's been a real pleasant addition. This, actually, this is the first thing we've done with him. And <laughs> looking forward to doing a lot more. Oh, yeah. Eric's a great guy. Yeah. Now, you grew up in a musical family, and you've got a son who plays music. Any other kids play music? Uh, my son, Travis, was 14 years old, and he's just tearing a guitar apart. Yeah. So it's wonderful. Actually, Roy's son's uh, playing some bass, too. What do you think is kind of a unique thing about growing up in a musical family that people who don't grow up would never even think of? Any, anything come to mind? Uh, I don't know. For myself, I know I was more familiar with uh, big band standards than, than I was Beatles songs, you know, as oh, a yeah. kid. Mm -hmm. so it's like Stella by Starlight and Misty and stuff were in my head long before Beatles songs were. And of course, I rebelled against that and eventually came back around to a real love of jazz. Uh -huh. And blues. So you were uh, even even in a musical family, you were the, a rebel in the family by playing guitar and rock and roll, or yeah, you know, it's your typical teenage thing, uh -huh. you know, you just rebel against the authority. Rebel against anybody mm -hmm. telling you what to do. Now you're gonna do a song. Uh, got the news? I got news. I got news. Yeah, that's one that's on our new CD. That's one I wrote, and it's a uh, it's pretty much straight up Texas shuffle, mm -hmm. all of Stevie Ray. Yeah, and it features Rachel on vocals and. Got a bunch of guitar stuff in it, just just about like all of it. So I got blues. I got news. I got news. Yeah. Okay, so here are the blues benders with I got news.